What up? Oh, I got 18 minutes. I forgot to delete from space. Oh, damn. I gotta do that. It's it's so many clips from Jamaica that's that's taking up space on my phone. When I tell y'all trying to transfer and convert and edit and do all that for this vlog is a pain in the anus. Um, cause it's so many clips. What are you doing? What are you but what are you doing? Go! Got me Got me on here acting like goddamn a foolie. Y'all know I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. It's the day after the morning after. No, it's the day after Jamaica. Um shit, I can't even tell y'all what today's date is. Oh, it's the eighth. I just got back last night at like one something in the morning. Um and I'm ready to go back. <laughs> I'm ready to go back. It's like I'm ready to go back, but I'm not. I'm glad I'm home. I did miss being at home. And as y'all can see. The sunglasses that I ordered for Jamaica, because I lost my original prescription sunglasses in the midst of all the car wreck stuff. I said, I was like, they gonna come when I'm in Jamaica. Like, I wanted them for Jamaica and they came while I was in Jamaica. So, got those and I can see better in these. Like, the other ones are cuter. It's just that that prescription is old. So, I had them on, but I really couldn't see that well. Versus with these, the prescription is more updated. Now, I have regular glasses like these. So, I was like, ah, let me just get the sunglasses. But, I really miss my actual sunglasses. Like, those was my favorite. Because, I like the way they fit. They were dark. Perfect. So, but nevertheless, I got new sunglasses. Um, I am, y'all know I'm finna go hit up my two favorite places in the whole wild, wild, wild world. Starbucks and chicken filet chicken filet it's weird to not have Starbucks every day when I was out there but Jamaica is known for their coffee and their coffee was actually really really good and it was unlimited so I could go everything was unlimited drinks food all that so I can go at any point in time all day and just give me a, some coffee a cappuccino whatever so that was that um the trip was amazing it was fun. It was so, so, so fun. Oh, my God. It was just relaxing, like, as far as the scenery, as far as the water, the the fun that we had. It was amazing. We did have a lot of issues, though, um, that we had, to, we had to go over some hurdles. Like, we really had to go over some hurdles. And, you know, without getting too detailed about it, because some of it is just not everybody's business, just know that when you're traveling because i know I, I did the video where people were saying like what to know when you come to jamaica so a lot of that has already been said but just know that when you're traveling like that especially in large groups please make sure that whatever travel agent you use whatever way you book the trip everything is down to the t because there was a lot of issues as far as like reservations and this wasn't working that wasn't working like it was make sure that everything you're you're on top of everything now of course you're going to come across maybe one or two problems it happens but you got to be strategic about everything and out there it's like they don't that ain't really they concern like you didn't book directly through them so when you don't book directly through them and you book through a third party it ain't really much they can do about it and you know, y'all seen from the vlog, Jamaica, they don't really give a shit about your issues. <laughs> they just like, it ain't nothing I can do. Like, it's it's nothing I can do. I don't know. I don't know. Like, they're the most nice, aggressive people ever. Like, they will come up to you every five seconds. Like, if it's a, if it's Jamaican men, I'm telling you what, ladies right now, y'all better be ready because they, they going to talk to you. They going to stop you on the street. You can't even walk to the corner store without like 10 million people trying to offer you weed. Like, it's crazy. But the hospitality is amazing. It's just that when an issue arrives, they're not equipped to be to deal with that. Again, especially if you're going through a third party. If you didn't book directly through them, they don't give a fuck. Um, and then also I think Siobhan might have said it, uh buying 
stuff you don't need. So, like, we were sent, like, lists and stuff of uh, items we might need, stuff that we should have bought. And so, we wasted a lot of money because it was a lot of stuff. Hold on, y'all. It was a lot of stuff that we didn't need. Like, I know me, I'm taking back, like, three different things I bought that I didn't even use. Like, they tell you to get this, get that, get this, but you really don't need it. Um, and some bit the shit out of me. I don't know what it was, but in the in the clip with the excursion when we was going through the water, I, I knocked about three spiders off of me. The mosquitoes told my ass up. That zip line and shit, man, I look like I had chicken pox on my goddamn legs. Like, the mosquitoes told me the fuck up. And I don't know what bit me on my ankle, but that, it bit me. <laughs> like, it, it bit me. Like, my shit hurt. And I and I need to really low-key go to the doctor because I don't know what it is. But it, it ain't no damn mosquito bite. I know that. I don't think it's a spider bite, but I just know something did bite the shit out of me. Um, so there are bugs where you, when you go to Jamaica, but they like bug. If you from like the states or even especially from Houston, it be bugs that you don't even know what the fuck. You be like, wait a minute, what kind of bug is that? And they have spiders like we got roaches. Like they have spiders, a lot of spiders, but it's a thing to them, like how roaches are a thing to us. Um, let's see what else. Um, also. Don't wear makeup. That is what I meant to say in the other vlog. I packed makeup. When you go to Jamaica, I promise you, lashes about the only thing you're going to need. And get your lashes done, like, professionally. Unless you like me and you just don't really give a fuck about lashes. Because I had some on for, the la like, the dinner night. I brought my lashes to put on. But if you're, because of the water and stuff, like, strips, they ain't going to work. So if you a lash person or you just want to do something and get your lashes done, but makeup, don't even think about wearing makeup because it's so hot and humid down there that that makeup going to sweat right off. Like it's going to come right off. You're going to be outside in the pool, in the water. You don't need makeup unless you're going to the club or something or you're going out. Like I said, for, for dinner night, I put a little bit of concealer on and some lashes then that's cool but don't go out there thinking you finna wear makeup every day cause that's not happening like I didn't wear none at all that's why y'all see my bumps and all kind of shit in every fucking clip cause I wasn't finna put no makeup on it's no point it's no point um what else make sure one thing I messed up on because I didn't realize how many times we were going to swim. Like, it was so much going on because Sharice had an itinerary and it was like people, we was doing like different stuff together. So I knew I had to bring multiple bathing suits, but uh, I think I may have brought like, how many bathing suits I had? Maybe four. And everybody else had like 10. <laughs> like 10 or 12. And I'm like, oh shit, I ain't got enough bathing suits. But I was able to make some stuff work, and then I didn't really get in the water as much as everybody else. Um, I was, you know, walking around with my uh, Tierra clothes on and, like, other clothes. But, you know, most of them wore, like, different bathing suits every day. So if you go pack bathing suits, like, like it, it, a lot of bathing suits, because we went for five days. So if you're going to go for about five days, you definitely going to for sure need about ten bathing suits. Like, no bullshit. Don't pack nothing. You Be naked. Don't pack no real clothes. Everybody in that resort was naked the whole time. Like, it's, you, it's just swimsuits, shorts. Like, don't pack no pants. Now, they did tell us don't pack jeans. That is accurate. Do not pack jeans. I packed, like, a couple pairs of tights, and that was honestly for me to get back, to go back on the airport. Um, you don't need that. You want as less clothes as possible because it's so hot out there. In the hot, it's not like Houston heat. Where it's like, oh my God, it's scorching hot. It's like a humid tropical heat. So, it's, it gives you that sticky feel. So, you want to have as less clothes on as possible. You definitely don't want to put a bunch of clothes on. Um, I know for me, uh, it was fun. I'm The hardest part for me was I'm an introvert. So, I, for one, like people I always make a joke that I don't like humans. And it's not that, it's a joke, but it's not a joke. So I don't like humans because I'm an introverted person. 
Like, I'm not used to being around a whole bunch of people. Why are y'all so packed? What the fuck is happening right now? What is happening right now? Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna show. I got 18 minutes. Okay. Hold on. Let me try to delete some space, too, real quick while I'm on here. Hold on. Okay. I cleared a little space. So, I got, got a little bit. Once I get all the Jamaica vlogs and stuff done, I'll be able to, um, delete everything out of my phone i'm just scared to delete i gotta triple check that i got everything because if i lose that footage i'm gonna cry now how the fuck i'm gonna get out of here all right let's see hold on here yeah. because they speak with me so bitch now i'm straight come on See, usually I can cut through that way, but I can't this time. Would y'all bring y'all asses? And now I got a headache because I ain't eight and it's almost four o'clock. Because I can't just go downstairs and eat no more. That's the part I'm gonna miss. Three free meals a day? Unlimited food? What? I ain't gotta cook? I ain't gotta go buy nothing? Like... The spoilness is happening. Oh my goodness. But anyway, like I was saying, I'm an introvert. So, like, I wanted to sleep a lot because I don't go out, I don't do things. And it's like, it's Jamaica, you have to. But you got to understand your body is trained also. So, my body is not trained to go out like that and, and have like consistent fun all the time. And when I go on vacation, that's why I was like, I should have went on like a vacation before the vacation. Because when I go on vacation, I like to rest, like sleep. So I did sleep more than everybody else. And they hated it. Like, Asher was not having it. But sometimes, like, and my anxiety wasn't even really that bad. Like, I didn't have to take my medicine uh, as much. So I don't, it was a lot for me. But it didn't become a lot for me until towards the end because it was like okay i'm good it's the first couple days like i want to say maybe about the end of day three day four definitely day four is when i was like okay i'm ready to go home <laughs> like i'm ready to go home and it's not because of jamaica not being fun it's not because of anything like anybody did it's just that i'm not used to being up under people like that and then I had to share a room with Ebony and Astrid, which is fine because I love Ebony and Astrid. Like, the, that part was cool, but uh, I'm a space person. Like, I have to have my own space. So, everything was me. It wasn't the trip. It was just me as a person. So, if you're like me and you're an introverted person, like, deeply introverted to where, like, I don't even go out in Houston. And most of my friends go out. I don't do anything but sit at home and work all day. So if you're heavily introverted and it's not easy for you to adapt to being an extrovert or going out like that, I'm sorry, sir. I definitely did not mean to block this intersection, buddy. I'm sorry about that. Um, I want to tell you because I can't really just bag up like that. Cause... Oh, I think they let. I think they let. I think we letting you go. Come on. Sarah, you take it. <laughs> um, but if you're a heavily introverted person and you can't adapt to your environment, then I would suggest not going as long. Like five days was a long time. And I knew before I left that it was gonna be a long time, but I was like, fuck it, this is Jamaica, I'm going. I was blessed with this trip, it's gonna happen. And it did, and it was phenomenal. It's just that I had some adjustments that I had to make because I'm not used to being around so many people. Um, and then, you know, sometimes when I'm irritated, my, my attitude can get bad. I come off irritated. And so that's why I was like, let me go to myself. Cause I don't want to snap on nobody and then feel bad about it or whatever, because I don't like being around people. Like, I just need a minute. Like, let me just get some time by myself, shawty. Um, but yeah, so if you... If you are that person, if you like me, probably probably shouldn't go as long. You probably could do a good three days. Um, now, if you want to experience a lot of stuff, then five, you definitely going to have to do five. 
um, like excursions and shopping and all that because the time go by so fast. But if you just want to chill by the pool, chill on the resort, you know, have your unlimited drinks and all that, maybe go to the shops or whatever, then I think three, three to four days is enough. Um, so let me pick up my Starbucks real quick though, because y'all, y'all know why I'm here. Shoot. And my stomach growling and I have a headache. And it's like I got to go to Chick-fil-A and I'm just not, it's been five days of me eating food, so I don't even, it feels weird for me to even go there. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm busy. Um... So, yeah, um, but you know, it was, it was frustrating at times for everybody. I think if you ask anybody who went, they will say that, that they, you know, it was, it was some times, it was, it was some times. Um, <clears throat> but overall, it was something that everybody needed. We were all celebrating something like Sharice put a lot of meaning into the trip as far as like she wanted people like the celebration dinner. Yes, it was for people's birthday. Um, but at the same time, lady, lady, it's my turn. I don't want to have to cuss you out. Um, everybody's celebrating even just getting through the year, small wins, things that <clears throat> that have happened that you're proud of. Like it's just a celebration. It was a hard year for everybody. It's been a hard two years for everybody since COVID first arrived and started tearing up the goddamn world so it was a lot of meaning behind it it was something everybody needed i know i needed a vacation because and i should have cut my phone off like my phone didn't work at all so i didn't have my iphone was done for i wasn't gonna pay for no damn plan i wasn't gonna pay for no international plan because i wasn't trying to talk to motherfuckers like that i was gonna use that good wi-fi and that was gonna be the end of that um so my iphone you they limit on how many devices you connect so we can only connect three devices because it was three people in the room so i can only connect one of my phones and i chose my android because i know that a lot of text messages don't come through on that one so the iphone was done for only downside is that's what the group chat was so i had to get my information from ebony and ashley but that's beside the point um phone didn't work uh, I did post on social media a lot. <laughs> TikTok mama. Y'all see that clip. I was so excited. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Um, so, I wouldn't pay for, and mind you, I'm talking about the area. I went to Montego Bay. And we stayed at the Raul Montego Bay. So, they got Wi-Fi. I wouldn't suggest paying for the plan because Astra did, and it was, like, pointless. Because she still couldn't use nothing. Like, literally, everybody was just working off Wi-Fi. And plus, you're going to be so busy turning up, you ain't going to be on the phone with nobody. Like, I called my mom on Facebook Messenger twice the whole time I was there. I messaged Christian on Facebook Messenger, and that was pretty much all I needed. As long as I had that Wi-Fi, I was good. Now, places where I didn't have Wi-Fi, that's fine. I had my camera, so I didn't really need it. Um, and then with COVID, for those that are scared, because... I used to be scared to travel because of COVID, but now not so much. For those that may be scared to travel because of COVID, they take that shit seriously. Like, they don't play when it comes to that COVID shit. Like, you got to wear a mask at all times. Like, you can walk around the resort with it, like, kind of slid down. You cannot order a drink without one. You can't go into the food places without one. They make, they, you, they put hand sanitizer on you. Like, it's a person standing there with hand sanitizer through every entrance you walk in. I don't care where you at. Whether it's a store, restaurant, somewhere in the resort, the gas station, anywhere you go, they gonna spray your ass with hand sanitizer. You gotta have that mask on. The people is not with that bullshit. Especially if they know you coming from the U.S. Like, they damn showing with they, they not fucking playing with that COVID shit. So, don't, don't, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You ain't got nothing to worry about because they got some strict protocols. Um, and then you do get tested before and after you leave. So, before you are even allowed to get on the plane to come back, you have to get tested. That lady tried to take me out with that goddamn COVID test. When I tell you that lady stuck that shit so far up my nose, I started coughing. I've been trying to avoid that type of test since COVID started. I was like, okay, because, you know, now they do the nasal swab where it's not shallow. It's just right here. That lady stuck that shit up and just 
I was like, <coughs> like I just started dying immediately. Like I was like, lady, what are you trying to kill me? Like I'm pretty sure she touched my brain cells. Like the fuck is wrong with you? But shit, I mean, it was, obviously it was negative since I'm back in Houston. But damn, they they do make you get tested before and after, bro. They not with the shit. Like the protocols you gotta go through to even get there and leave there because of COVID. Be have patience. Y'all seen that in the other videos when y'all seen me getting ready to go out there. Coming back is the same way. Like it's the same way. And so they have it on the resort where you get tested. But it's a lot of people. So it's stressful because it's a whole lot of people in a little bitty space trying to fight over who gonna get their test first, who gotta go, you gotta make an appointment, I'm gonna miss my flight. Like, cause you're supposed to do it 24 hours ahead of time. But we had excursions to do, so we couldn't do it. So we had to do the morning that we left. So we gotta sit there and fight the people. Then you got other people that want to fight. Talking about my life in the lead, da, da, da. Like, it's a whole bunch of fuckery. But nevertheless, it still worked out again. So don't don't let that scare you. Um, what else? I'm trying to think of what else is important. We talked about not buying as much shit. Uh, make sure you stay somewhere that's all inclusive. I was just when I just went into the smoke shop just now. I was talking to my friend about it. Uh, that's in there, and I was like, just make sure you stay somewhere that's all inclusive. I don't know if I said that in this video already, but if I did, fuck it. <laughs> Let me reiterate that again. Stay somewhere that's all inclusive. Do not stay somewhere that's not all inclusive or you will be very upset because the shit out there is high as fuck oh oh um i spent all of my money on gifts <laughs> like literally y'all can't try that i spent damn near 300 dollars on gifts and then it don't help when you inebriate it in the souvenir shop because then you get to picking up shit and then you get get back later like, wait a minute, I bought this much shit. Like when he rung it up and he was like, all right, 228, 228? For real? Yeah, hold on. That's how much stuff I got. <laughs> Even with the discounts. Like, I was like, ouch. Like I had to keep telling myself, Miranda, quit buying shit. Because you're not spending money on nothing but that. Like, and if you eat, like, outside of the resort or something or whatever. But other than that, you ain't really just spending money on stuff. Um, so, I spent all the money I went out there with on gifts, which is fine. Because that's less Christmas shit I got to buy. My Christmas shopping is done for. I, I now got to go recoup my, my budget. Because my budget is a little over budget. Um, oh, make sure you bring. Okay. My mama tried to tell me this and I did not listen to her. One of the articles or one of the things say do not bring cash or do not bring a lot of cash because of the theft rate that's in Jamaica, right? So I took that shit seriously. I brought, uh, what to say, $100 in cash in 20s. And my mom was like, you got to go get some change so you could tip the people. Because my mama been to Jamaica before. She was like, you got to go get change so you could tip the people. You got to, you, you don't need it for tips. And I'm like... I can get change there. Like, what you mean? I don't need no change. Like, I got cash. I can't bring that much cash with me. My wallet on the back of my phone. I ain't even got no wallet like that. And so she was like, I'm telling you, I always go with fives and ones. You're going to need fives and ones. I was like, all right, mama. Didn't take her seriously. Got down there and realized they definitely work off tips. Like, since everything is free, they definitely work off tips. Everybody everywhere works off tips. Everybody everywhere works off of tips. In the resort, outside the resort, don't matter. Everything is tips. So I was like, fuck. So the whole time, everybody was like, hey, you got change for a 20? Hey, you got change for a 20? Hey, you got change for a 20? <laughs> and since you can't buy nothing, it's like, damn, where you get changed, bro? <laughs> so I felt bad. I was like, ah, right, fuck, damn. I should have listened. I definitely should have listened. But. And for those of you who may be wondering, yes, you can use American money in Jamaica. They take American money. You don't have to 
convert your currency because we was thinking about that too. They do take American money. So you don't have to worry about that part. However, in some places outside the resort, if you pay for something, you will get change back in Jamaican money. So when we went to the gas station, the lady was like, we, you gonna get your change back in Jamaican money. So keep that in mind when you go out there as well. That's another thing, don't bring too much cash. But if you do, make sure you bring fives, fives and ones. Uh, just keep it, keep it close to you. Get you a little uh, passport wallet or something like that. Or um, a little, like I had a little zipper wallet. I had my cards on the back of my phone. Um, just something small, a wristlet, something like that that you really can hold on to. Um, and you, you'll be fine. But, shit, what a, I'm trying to think. It's going to be a long vlog. Okay, I'm back. Um, they out here acting crazy. I'm definitely back at home because motherfuckers don't know how to try. Um, they was doing the food in the Chick-fil-A line. God damn it. Um. But, and of course, before I end this thing off, I should not have to tell people to take off the day after you come back. Everybody knows that. And if you don't know, now you know. The thing for me is since I work for myself and I do so much stuff for other people as my job, because you got tutoring, TTM, uh, accounting clients book clients all this stuff and then i have co clients constantly coming in <clears throat> new clients asking questions blah blah i can't really stop i don't have what's called pto i don't have somewhere where i could be like okay i'm going on vacation i'll be back this day as soon as i step foot like literally every time i leave houston I leave to get away from work because I can't get away from work in Houston. And even sometimes when I'm not in Houston and I'm out of town, like I guarantee in Jamaica, I probably got, well, tried to get because my messages wasn't really coming through like that. But I had at least about a, a couple messages like asking me about work stuff, emails, went crazy. Um, Christian handled it for the most part. Shout out to her because she real. Um, and we had a little TTM thing that I do, and I'll talk about it in another video. But I, it's like I knew in my mind I had to prepare myself as soon as I, as soon as you step off this plane and you enter into Houston, Texas, your life has officially gone back to normal. Like you have to go back to work. You ain't got no choice. You an entrepreneur. It's my cousin, thanks, time. So you just gonna face hey, yeah. Welcome to America, bitch. <laughs> I'm definitely vlogging. Oh. Um. Uh, hey, hey, YouTube. Hi. Um. Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. I, I don't. I don't think you have to sing Jesus songs after they just about to see me turn oh, up in Jamaica. Oh. Do y'all see her? Do y'all see this? Do you, do you see her? Do you see the foolery that I deal with? Look at her. Look at her, YouTube. Oh, no. <laughs> Clearly, I'll be right back, guys. Hold on a second. So, I definitely never came back, but look at this, y'all. Huh? Look, look at what they did to my suitcase. Now y'all remember, I I just bought this for Jamaica. Look at they cut it in the bag. They cut it. Look at what? This is so disrespectful. Like at this point, the whole thing gotta go in the trash now. And y'all y'all seen me go? Look at this. Look at get y'all hard shell suitcases like y'all literally sat up there and saw me say i didn't want to spend money on suitcases i didn't want to spend a lot of money on a suitcase y'all saw y'all saw me say that 
Now I gotta throw forty five dollars in the trash. Man. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.